Monoclonal antibodies, or antibody cocktails, are getting a lot of attention as the next promising treatment in the fight against COVID-19, after President Donald Trump tweeted how much it helped him. They gave me Regeneron, and it was, like, unbelievable. Monoclonal antibody therapy is already used to treat patients with diseases like cancer and rheumatoid arthritis. It works kind of like this. Scientists clone a stock of antibodies in the lab, which can work just like a patient's own antibodies, helping the immune system attack sick cells. And the goal of these antibodies, once they're infused, is to actually prevent that interaction and really halt the process. Drug makers Regeneron and Eli Lilly have both applied for FDA emergency use authorization for their different antibody cocktails. They're experimental right now, and only patients participating in a clinical trial can get them. Andrew Hengeman and his mother, Graham Ray of Denver, are two of those people. After getting sick this summer, Ray, a former infectious disease nurse, looked for clinical trials. I lost my sense of taste and smell for about a month. It only recently came back. That was pretty jarring. But other than that, the symptoms were super mild. And, uh, you know, my mom had it easy, even easier than I did. Yeah, I was, we were very, very lucky, but I was also very worried. The two are among nine patients who have participated in Dr. Thomas Campbell's clinical trial, studying Regeneron's effect on COVID-19 patients who were sick but didn't need to be hospitalized. They each got one four-gram dose of either a placebo or Regeneron's antibodies and were monitored over several weeks, which included getting 11 nasal swab COVID tests. Campbell is also studying Eli Lilly's cocktail. The studies are looking at dissecting the different ways the drug works. Shortening the course of illness, getting people feeling better faster, getting people discharged from the hospital faster. I think my mom got the real thing and I got the placebo because, you know, in my mind, there's no way that my mom, who's almost 60, is healthier than me. I like to think I'm in shape, but... <laughs> I think that she must have been juicing if she's going to recover faster. If a patient is in a clinical trial, they don't have to pay for the drugs they get because they're literally an experiment. But right now, there's only a handful of these kinds of clinical trials across the U.S. recruiting patients, even fewer for patients who are mildly sick at home. The bedrock still remains standard supportive care, meaning supporting organ systems and supporting patients as the body heals itself. Lindsay Thies, Newsy, Denver.